His works draw on memories of growing up in rural China, a time Xiongqing Hua portrays with a quirky nostalgia. I feel like we have lost a lot of things from the past that used to make us happy. That is what I'm interested in. Country folk often captured in humorous snapshots that are touchingly human, with a surreal twist that's become his style. I like depicting those dramatic moments in life. That's my passion. As an established artist, Xiong works from the new house his success has paid for in the village where he grew up. But it's been a struggle. His parents are farmers. I didn't have any interest in farming, and my parents said I was useless. The alternative was work in a factory. He tried that but couldn't stand it. He even tried working as a jobbing artist in the Chinese village of Dafen that specializes in mass-produced copies. He was drawn back to his village and his paints. I didn't care if the villagers were saying, your painting sucks, go back to farming. While many of his friends and neighbors moved away to find work in the cities, Xiong stayed on, finding inspiration in his village surroundings and allowing his talent to flourish. And in the last couple of years, he has been discovered, with solo exhibitions and works that sell for $7,000 each. His neighbors treat him differently. He was a timid guy, never talking with people. We didn't understand him. We would laugh at him. He was always hiding indoors doing his painting. <laughs> They're not laughing now. Discovering the fine line that separates weird and artistic, Xiong has found his place on the right side of it. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hubei Province, China.